All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Rise. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. If you guys are new to the channel, Mondays I do the general love reading. Um, the schedule for the week is in the description box at the bottom of um, this video. Okay, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box as well. Um, in addition, I have online courses and guided meditations. Okay, so let's take a look though. So what is the status of this connection? So Spirit, for those who are tuning in today, for those who clicked on this video, what is the status of their connection right now with the person that's on their mind? Ooh, lovely. So we have the King of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or maybe you are, um, or someone, there's a lot of water here, a lot of water energy. So we have the King of Cups. So the status of this connection is definitely indicating that there's love, it's mutual, there's mutual love on both sides here, okay? You love them, they love you, or maybe there's a potential for this to grow into something deeper. Because um, typically the King of Cups talks about deep emotions, something that is, um, what's the word? There's like a sense of substance there. There's a sense of something that is really deep rooted, something that's been maybe built over time, or like I said, the potential of this to build into something more, okay? All right, so let's take a look at their energy towards you. Okay, so what is their current energy towards you? We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we could be talking about a love triangle situation here, guys. Um, I'm seeing them having some sort of internal conflict about a third party. So this could be like maybe they're with someone else, but really they're in love with you. Let's actually take a, um, a deeper look at this. Okay, let's see. Four of Cups. For, huh. They're feeling rejected right now. For some of you guys, this person might be having an... Okay, I'm kind of getting two storylines, but I'll tell you the main storyline that I'm getting. Um, just because we have the Four of Cups here. So this person feels a bit rejected by you right now and possibly they're having an internal conflict because maybe they're wondering, you know, um, do you have feelings for someone else? Is there someone else in your energy? Um, but for some of them, they could also be dealing with someone else. So maybe they've been rejected in the past. So there's kind of a fear of rejection or a fear of like getting into like a love triangle situation here. Okay. Cause I'm seeing this four of cups. So there is a sense of like rejection energy that they're feeling. Like they do have emotions cause we have the king of cups here. But either there's a fear of rejection or they're feeling kind of rejected right now. So their energy towards you is a bit conflicted at this point, okay? There very well could be a love triangle though. I don't know if this is on your end or their end. So let's get some more details. Let's take a look at your energy towards them. Okay, so Spirit, what my, what's my viewer's energy towards their person? We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. And the Ten of, ooh, really? Your energy towards them, you're kind of stuck in pain right now. So I'm starting to think that maybe you are not with this person. I'm starting to think that maybe you have been separated from this person despite the fact that you guys both still love each other or despite the fact that you both still have emotion or there is emotion. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse would tell me that the situation is not going anywhere. It's not moving forward. In fact, we have the Ten of Swords as your energy towards this person. So maybe you put an end to it or you're dealing with the aftermath of them putting an end to it. There's a sense of like nothing happening. Like if you look at this Ten of Swords, this guy is not moving. And as you guys know, the Knight of Pentacles is definitely a lack of movement. So what happened here? What happened here? I'm going to try and get as much detail as I can on this. Yeah, you guys might have walked away from this connection. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. Maybe they walked away from you. Who knows? Keep in mind, this is very general. But obviously, someone walked away from the situation, which is why that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I'm starting to get a sense that you guys are not together, which makes sense because we have the Eight of Cups here. So possibly you walked away from them because I am seeing them feeling a sense of rejection, but it doesn't really matter who walked away from who. Okay? Um, hmm. Let's see, how do they see you right now? How does this person see you right now? Yeah, the Four of Swords. It's in reverse, but still, the Four of Swords. So they're seeing you as very inactive. You're not doing anything, you're not taking action. Some of them might honestly worry that you're kind of getting over this or that you're healing and you're just over it. I don't know, maybe some of you guys are. Your energy towards them is the Eight of Cups. Some of you might just be walking away from the situation. 
How do you see them? How do you see your person? The page of wands. So they might have reached out to you or you know that they, your perception is that either they have reached out and you know that they want to talk to you um, or you just think that they want to talk to you. Like you just think that like, okay, they want to reach out or there's something that they want to say. So if they haven't said anything, then you're just perceiving that they do want to talk to you. Okay. So let's take a look at their intentions. So spirit, this person that my viewers are dealing with, what are their intentions right now? Wow. Okay. This person's very heavily, this person might be a little bit obsessed with you. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse, which is my card of codependency, my card of being very, it's like neediness. It's like needing someone. Um, so they're not going anywhere. Queen of pentacles reverse. This person's not going anywhere. Why is this here? Yeah. The knight of cups. This is their intentions. Okay. They're holding on to you for dear life, whether you know it or not. And I'm talking about emotionally here. So the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Cups. This person wants you. This person wants to um, take you out. This person wants to be with you. They want to express themselves. Emotionally, I'll tell you this. Emotionally, they're not going anywhere. Emotionally, they're, they're very attached to you. Okay, which is starting to make sense why we're getting this King of Cups at the top of the reading. Because none of this other energy is, can, is, is like... Um, indicating love you know what i mean just because there's so much distance between the two of you but now i'm starting to see why the king of cups is up at the top because their intentions are to stay emotionally attached to you in fact they might want to pursue you or they might want to ask you out take you out um you know the knight of cups to me is a card of like romance maybe taking someone out on a date expressing your feelings um definitely like showing you more of a romantic side if that's something that they maybe didn't do in the past okay what are your intentions? What are your intentions right now? The King of Pentacles. So you guys want something committed with this person is what I'm seeing. You don't act like it, but you do. Yeah, I see the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups in reverse, okay? So interesting. It's like you're not really wanting to reveal your emotions to this person right now. You're kind of wanting to um, stuff them down, pretend that maybe you don't have these emotions, or maybe you're not ready to open up to them emotionally. But I do see you wanting... Um, a long-term commitment with this person we have the king of pentacles okay um yeah some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign i'm getting a lot of signs here to be quite honest but more so i'm getting a lot of earth and water so taurus virgo capricorn uh cancer pisces and scorpio okay that's what i'm seeing mostly but keep in mind it doesn't have to be we also have fire sign aries leo sag okay um let's see so where is this heading where is this connection heading? The two of wands in reverse. So I see some stagnation. What is this indecision about? Why is the two of wands here? The one, there's definitely, this is not over guys. This is not over, but I also get the sense that in the next few weeks, it might not progress to anything. So we have the two of wands reverse with the world in reverse. So it is telling me that this cycle between the two of you is not over. Like both of you are feeling that there's unfinished business. Okay. Um, let's take a look and see why this ended in the past. So why did this come to an end in the past, Spirit? Why did this connection end in the past? Someone was too detached, okay? Um, so I don't know if this was you or them, but I feel like someone could have been actually kind of narcissistic or very selfish, but I'm also getting that someone was just too detached, not opening up, maybe very hot and cold, or just acting like they didn't care is what I'm seeing. The King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I see someone very detached and not putting not putting enough effort in. So um, for some of you guys, you might have walked away from this connection because you just felt like this person was detached and they weren't putting in the same amount of work. Now, it could be the other way around. So if you were the one who was detached and you weren't putting enough effort, then they walked away from you, but I'm assuming it's probably the other way around. Okay, but I see that, yeah, because we have you as the Eight of Cups, we have you walking away. Um, so it's very likely that this person wasn't opening up. Let's see why they were in that energy. I have too many cards here. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're just falling out. Why are they in this energy spirit? They weren't happy with themselves. Okay. So if you're wondering why was this person like not giving you the same amount of energy? Why were they not putting in that effort? Why were they not opening up to you? It's because quite honestly, this person was not happy in their own life. Ten of cups in reverse. They just weren't happy. So was there emotion there for you? Yes, we have the King of Cups. But this person, it's like they weren't giving to you. They were cold. They were detached because they just weren't happy. But I see them not going anywhere. Like I said, Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the um, Knight of Cups. Let's see their action towards you. 
Okay, what's their action towards you? Yeah, there's, okay, so they have the Hierophant in reverse. This person's got commitment issues. Let's see. The lovers. Yeah, they do feel this strong energy, though. Um, and we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like this person may eventually take action towards you, but you're going to notice that they're not, they're very non-committal or they're not fully committed to the situation. So like you might notice kind of one foot in, one foot out. And I feel like this has to do with the fact that, well, it could be fear, but it could also just be that this person maybe still hasn't fully found that happiness within themselves. So they might come back around to you before they're fully ready. But keep in mind, like the reason why this person is still in your energy is because they do still have feelings for you. And I feel like you still have feelings for them. Um, emotionally, like I said, guys, emotionally, they're still there. They're with you. Even if they're not physically with you, emotionally, you still have like um, a strong effect on this person and they're with you there. Some of you guys, this could be more of like a soul connection because we do have the lovers coming through here. Let's take a look at the advice. So what's the advice for my viewers when it comes to this connection? We do have the death card here. So something needs to end. Like with the death card, um, yeah, very strong Scorpio energy, okay? Um, so maybe you guys are Scorpio or dealing with Scorpio because we do have a lot of water already. <clears throat> um, something needs to fully end. Let's see why the death card is here. The four of pentacles. So there's someone here. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what needs to end? In order for this connection to work, so what I'm hearing from Spirit is that in order for this connection to actually work, someone needs to put their ego to rest, okay? We have the Four of Pentacles with the Six of Wands in reverse. These two cards can talk about ego, can talk about stubbornness, um, not opening up, and I feel like that is like a dynamic that needs to, to end. If there's going to be any sort of transformation in this connection, if there's going to be any sort of positive um, fresh start with this person, ego needs to be put to rest, okay? That's the advice. So I don't know if this is on your end or their end, so maybe this is about setting boundaries with this person, or maybe this is about putting your ego to the side. Who knows? You'll have to take it how it resonates for you. But I feel like in order for there to be a transformation within this connection, the core issue is like ego. And that's something that needs to end before anything can change within this connection. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you guys wanna book your own personal reading, um, I am offering 15% off right now with the promo code AMAZING. I also have a self-love course and a twin flame course, okay? So the information will always be down below, but everything's also on the website, all right? So I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.